So we have Miss Yellowbone and DaBaby who are going through, you know, a lot of confusing, I don't know what they're going through. Like, I'm trying to make sense of it for an intro, but I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're both going on live, exposing each other, dropping receipts, statements. It's just an absolute mess. I don't know what I'm going to say in this video, but I'm just going to try and let you guys know what is going on because it's just absolutely ridiculous. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Back at it again with daily and consistent content inject it and let's get straight into this video subscribe click that button guys subscribe subscribe and click the notifications bell. let's get to a quarter of a million subscribers we can do it now danny lay um is upset because i think the baby was calling her the side chick and she's upset with the fact that um you know she's fallen she fell in love with this man again and the fact that he's sleeping on her with different people and you know the fact that she he wants to come back to her and she's still got now as a baby and that she's not going to put up, put up with any of this and they're both going on live with you on each other's phones yeah yeah you want to record me talking about shut the fuck up i gotta record you for my sake yeah you go ahead this is the first that, thing you ain't finna burn your back man down get your phone let me close your first baby the first time yeah that's what it is no 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 go with your move yeah, crazy whatever. girl you started your shit. Yeah, whatever. And then the baby's trying to go live on his own phone, and then Danny Lay kind of interrupts him as well. I ain't never been my girl. <laughs> is my side bitch? It's your what? No, my it's side your bitch. What? Shout it is a certified side bitch. <laughs> it's just sad, and it like I, I I don't find it any funny. I don't have much empathy for Miss Yellowbone. I don't have much empathy for somebody who was promoting the, you know, negative connotations of colorism and speaking out about how, you know, people of her complexion are mostly loved and adored and, you know, are preferred and, you know, liking shady comments about how Hispanic girls are better at this and that and everything and how they just look better and more desirable and wanted and she was running off with that and because Miss Yellowbone didn't really work out and she claims that she doesn't see color, you know, Beloved was definitely colorblind when she was in that studio and definitely um, colorblind now when it comes to life because one minute you're singing Yellowbone talking about how the baby likes you because of your complexion and now you're on live crying because the father of your child doesn't, doesn't want to be with you and now you're being deemed as a side chick and you're holding baby in your hands. Life comes at you fast, Beloveds. Life, com life comes at you fast. So don't ever sit there and say it can never be me. Because beloved, it can be you. Do you understand? Yes, you. It can be you, front row seat, it could be it could be you. So don't ever sit here saying it can never be me. Because you were really in that studio talking about how your man loves you for your complexion, but now you're sitting here fatherless. It's an absolute travesty. So I don't much have much empathy for her, but at the end of this particular video, at the end of the day, as everybody loves to say, the baby is a lousy father and i think to be going on, on live like that and for you know he's not um he's not innocent in any of this and i think the center individual is the baby and the fact that the baby's parents are going back and forth like this a lot of individuals they don't really deserve to be parents with the way they treat people like i think it's awful the way they treat people i think it's just it's just very very sad <clears throat> um he says, I would like to swiftly remove myself from any of the hostile behavior put on display moments ago. This here thing has gone far enough for Shorty to crash out on her own and it saddens me because I still got a queen to raise. The last hour has been documented for my safety and business, done based on my reputation, with multiple threats of setting up an internet scheme and a person refusing to not let me go. Me and somebody also here knew to record her. I done beat her on and yelled and chased around like if one of them fatal love attraction type girls but i need to keep it together my team will be in contact with any and everybody at who business not team end of the day no big deal i don't want no charges pressed or nothing i just want her peacefully removed which they need to hurry up and do as we speak i ain't even want that behavior on display but it's okay man this too shall pass my focus right now is suddenly on this new project your focus right now is suddenly on the new project, not even the fact that you've got a child. Hey, Shorty went out that way, but that ain't my business. I'm a father first always, then act like it and always will be. Because the thing is, these baby fathers, they love to disrespect the mother of the child thinking that it's okay. And it's not okay. Like, both of these parties are both wrong. They're both, this whole theme, the theme on this video is confusion. Because I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, I feel like these two are always doing up some tomfoolery. Um, she says, hey guys, since baby want to put up a statement with this cat ass, I'll put mine up. So we've been living with each other for the past three months since our baby was born, doing us. And tonight he want to come in the room talking about I need to go. Don't matter where I go. Mind you, I have a newborn child. He said, we said I can go to the hotel. That is disgusting, man. This man is mad because I had a plan B sent to his condo. Because all you want to do is 
seeing me with no responsibility. Obviously, he probably want me out so he can F on his baby and mother and other, and other people. We've been known, we've been together this whole time. Whilst I just had my first child, this all goes to say that this man is an effing coward. I'm sleeping after cooking him dinner and you want to say I need to go. F you, baby. And damn, I really should have just listened to the cat house internet about this man. I'm a learner and I'm a grow, but this right here ain't it. And I'm sorry to my baby that her father is kicking around her home at three months. That is, I mean, it's disgusting. For the baby to do stuff like that, I think it's genuinely disgusting like you obviously have no that like, no respect for yourself no respect for her like and the fact that you're gonna chuck her out to a hotel the sky looks beautiful outside can, can we just sit the sky looks i'm giving you london skyline do you understand this is i'm giving you london this is beautiful anyways um yeah i just i don't know man this is all just an absolute mess um me okay. calling the police, yeah, that's like for my safety, so cause this what I'm cause hotel. this what I'm dealing with. Okay. Like this a real deal, cuckoo for cocoa. Okay. Look, 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 look. This look. This is a real deal. Like shout it really cuckoo mm. and she's still here. So nobody was put out. Yes, the woman is crazy. Nobody was put out. Time. No, this ain't no we ain't gotta make this a, a sexist thing. I forced him to be with me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Stephanie, go ahead. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't nothing questions. new. This just like, it's just, I don't know, man. It's sad. It's like, it's very, very sad for him to treat her like this. And then they both go live again. Like, um, and Danny pops up in her live. And like, it's just a mess. They're going back and forth on each other on this live. And it's like, you both have parent. You both have a child. You can grow up to see this stuff. Where is your common sense as a person? Like, I, I just don't know. You me, know this just is. me clearing the like L because she not about to tell this. I okay. can show you. I can show you. You begging me to stay here, so this is not. This not. Talking uh, about you miss me, come back home. All this stuff. Yeah. I, I already mm, left you your ass. You can see. You can see who cuckoo her and who not. Because I'm talking to her. But this is my thing. This is my thing. They didn't make. They did not make Shawty leave, and somebody need to come make Shawty leave. She's not dropping receipts that her and the baby were more than just roommates. Of course, because he's claiming otherwise. And of course, there they both are in 2019. Then she's also posting videos of her... Um... This is my reality. This is my man. He wants to fuck me and fuck his baby mother and fuck all these Charlotte hoes and fuck all this shit. And he'll be okay with that, guys. And he come back and live here and stay in this fucking It's disgusting. Movies. Yes, I'm so sorry for you to treat that like. I don't have much empathy for her, but at the same time, as a single mother, to be kicked out and be told to go to a hotel is wrong, and I do feel sorry for her. And I feel like the baby just time and time again shows that he's nothing but a lousy man. No man is more lousy, do you understand, than one who cannot take care of their child. You are disgusting. You are bottom barrel scum, and you are an absolute elite waste man that is who you are you are scum on this earth if you refuse to take care of your child and you know that you have that coin to do so on top and you can't even do that disgusting it's I like it's just going back and forth danny lay is posting a lot of screenshots and receipts and stuff like that and i don't know what you guys make of all of this i don't know whether you guys are on some kind of side uh but it's just an awful situation um danny lay and the baby people are saying are great examples of why you shouldn't have kids with people you don't know. Um, the baby just went live on Danny Lay page for like 20 seconds and sounds like they're up to no good. Um, I don't care for Danny Lay, but the baby antagonizing her on IG Live while she's feeding her child is lazy. He's so mean spirited that is disgusting. The baby is wrong for that. I don't care for Danny Lay, but why would you choose to go on live on her own Instagram while she's vulnerable and feeding a child and then talking about you're recording her for your own safety? It's so dumb. What own safety are you talking about? This should not have been on social media. Danny Lay, you decided to lay up with this man, making a song to one up his dark skinned baby mother, calling Yellowburn is what he won. I hear the end words from you, girl. The baby, this is what you wanted. Y'all both need help. The baby and Danny Lay arguing on IG Live. The bit, the, um, the, oh, not, not the bitch. Purpley showed Danny Lay's baby. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. This is what I mean, man. Too many people are having kids thinking it's okay. And then they don't want to look after their kids. And then they bring up children in this world around such a negative environment and nurture even more nonsense. Do you know what I mean? I feel like too many people are just casually having children. And it's just... I don't know, man.
my my thoughts are just with the child. That's all I can really say. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Let me give you guys a quick fit look. I forgot to give it to you at the beginning of the video, but you know, I'm just in love with this color. I'm wearing it the most out of all my other thobes. I love the, um, I love the color of this thobe and how it sits on my skin. And yeah, anyways, let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to Danny Lay. I don't know what this girl and the baby, who's an absolute lousy father. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.